but you know to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent in whom is all your delight and father god i thank you that your goodness extended to Rigo, Father God, because he's one of your saints. He's one of your children. He's one of your people. And Father God, and he's one of the excellent, Father God, in whom is all your delight. And you do delight in Rigo, Father God. Maybe a lot of people don't delight in him, Father God. And a lot of times Rigo get persecuted by the perpetrators and the bullies and stuff and the witches and all that in his community. And they don't delight him in him whatsoever. They're doing everything to hurt and kill him and torture him and abuse him in every way, Father God. But you are preserving uh, Rigo, Father God, and you are protecting Rigo from all evil, danger, and harm and from his enemies, from his spiritual enemies and physical enemies. And Father God, you care so much for Rigo and you're delighting in him, Father God. Your delight is in him, Father God. And you care about him and love him unconditionally and everlastingly. So I thank you, Father God, for your promise in your word. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. Father, the sorrows should be multiplied that hasten after another God. And a lot of these, all these perps hasten after another God. And Father God, so the souls of these perps should be multiplied, Father God, because they hasten after another God, because they're not hastening after you, Father God, anytime they come against Rigo in this program and do evil against him and stuff. And their drink offerings of blood will Rigo not offer, nor take up their names into his lips. I thank you, Lord, that you are the portion of Rigo's inheritance and in, in of his cup and that you Father God maintain us Rigo's lot. I thank you Father God that the lines are falling into Rigo in pleasant places yea. Rigo have a goodly heritage especially from you Father God and through Jesus Christ. And Father God I thank you that Rigo will bless you Lord who have given him Counsel, you have Father God given Rigo counsel, and Rigo's reigns also instruct him in the night seasons. Father God, your reigns instruct also instruct Rigo in the night seasons. Father God, I thank you for that. I'm going to say this verse seven again. I thank you that Rigo will bless you, Lord, who have given Rigo counsel. Your reigns also instruct Rigo in the night seasons, Father God. You are given Rigo wisdom from you, Father God, from your word and wisdom by the power of the Holy Spirit, Father God, and through other anointed Christians, Father God, that you put in his path and stuff. So you're giving him counsel, Father God, and wisdom and revelation about how to deal with everything that he has to deal with, with being targeted and being bullied and gang stalked and harassed or whatever, Father God. By these evil spirits operating through these perps. Father God, you're teaching him every day. And I thank you for that. Even during the night times when, you know, he get, may get attacked in the spiritual realm. But he's fighting with you, Father. He's fighting against the devil with your power and your anointing and with your word, Father God. So, Father God, now to the eighth verse. I thank you, Father God, that Rigo have set you, Lord, always before him. Because you, Father God, is at Rigo's right hand. And Rigo shall not be moved. Therefore, Rigo, Rigo's heart is glad, Father. Therefore, Rigo's heart is glad and Rigo's glory rejoiceth, Father God. And Rigo's flesh also shall rest in hope. Especially resting in hope in you, Father God. For Rigo shall not leave, I'm sorry, Father God, for you, Father God, shall, will not leave Rigo's soul in hell. For you, Father God, will not leave Rigo's soul in hell. Neither will you suffer thine, ho thine holy one to see corruption. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that 
you will show Rigo the path of life. Help me, Father God. I'm thanking you for that. And your presence is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So, Father God, I thank you for showing Rigo the path of life, Father God, every day. And I thank you for guiding him and directing him in every step of right, of your righteousness, Father. And in your presence, Father God, is fullness of joy. So, Father God, when Rigo is in your presence, there is full there is fullness of joy that he receives your joy that you have for him. That's another gift that you have given Rigo, Father God. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. At your right hand, you have pleasures forevermore for Rigo, Father God, because he's your child and you are providing for him and you want to bless Rigo in every area of his life. So anyway, Father God, I thank you that Psalm 16 verses 1 through 11 is done in Rigo's life. Just as Psalm 9 is done in Rigo's life. So now it's Psalm 23. So now I'm going to pray. I'm not going to read Psalm 23 this time. But I'm going to pray Psalm 23 over Rigo. Help me, Father. According to Psalm 23, I thank you, Lord, that you are Rigo's shepherd. And Rigo shall not want. I thank you, Lord, that you are Rigo's shepherd and Rigo shall not want. I thank you, Father God, that you make it Rigo to lie down in green pastures, that you lead it Rigo beside the still waters. Just a moment, turn and page. I thank you, Father God, that you restored Rigo's soul and that you lead it Rigo in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Yea, though Rigo walked through the valley of the shadow of of death, Rigo will fear no evil. For you, Father God, are with Rigo. Your rod and your staff comfort Rigo. I thank you, Father God, that you prepare us a table before Rigo in the presence of his enemies. That you anoint Rigo's head with oil, Rigo's cup run it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow Rigo all the days of his life, and Rigo will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I thank you, Father God, that your word is done in Rigo's life according to Psalm 23, verses 1 through 6. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Hallelujah, Father God, give you glory and honor. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. So now I'm going to go to Psalm 91 and pray a prayer of protection over you, Rigo, from God's word in the King James Version Bible, Psalm 91, verses 1 through 16. And I'm not going to read it, Psalm 91, because that's the most common scripture, but I'm going to pray it over you now, Rigo. I thank you, Father God, that Rigo dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, that he shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, of the Almighty, which is you, Father God. And Rigo will save you, Lord, that you are his refuge and his fortress, his God, and you will he trust. Surely you, Father God, shall deliver Rigo from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. I thank you, Father God, that you shall cover Rigo with your feathers, and under your wings shall Rigo trust. Your truth shall be Rigo's shield and buckler. I thank you, Father God, that Rigo shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at Rigo's side, and ten thousand at Rigo's right hand, but it shall not come nigh Rigo. It shall not come nigh Rigo. Only with Rigo's eyes shall he behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because Rigo has made you Lord, which is his refuge, even the Most High, his habitation. There shall no evil befall. There shall no evil befall Rigo. Neither shall any plague come nigh Rigo's dwelling. For you, Father God, shall give your angels charge over Rigo to keep Rigo in all your ways, Father God. They shall bear Rigo up in their hands, lest Rigo dash his foot against the stone. Rigo shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall Rigo tremble under feet. 
Because, Father God, you have set your love upon Rigo, therefore you will, you, Father God, deliver Rigo. And you will set Rigo on high because, Father God, you have known Rigo's name. I thank you, Father God, that Rigo shall call upon you and you will answer Rigo. And you will be with Rigo in trouble, Father God, and you will deliver Rigo and honor Rigo. With long life would you satisfy Rigo and show Rigo his salvation. Father, I thank you that your word is done in Rigo's life according to Psalm 91 verses 1 through 16 in Jesus Christ's name. And Father God, I thank you that you promise in your word that in the scripture in Psalm 91, Father God, that you will deliver. Rigo, you love him, Father God. You don't want to see him in any type of bondage. You don't want to see him in any type of slavery or imprisonment connected to this covert gain stalking program and witchcraft, abuse and harassment and, and stalking and all kinds of games and schemes or hardships or nothing, Father God. So I thank you, Father God, that you are delivering from uh, Rigo, Father God, from all witchcraft. And you delivered him from abuse and harassment, slavery, imprisonment, captivity, exile, and from the hands of the controllers and handlers and, and evil relationships, Father God, and evil spirits of people, and from harassment and tortures and afflictions and evil dreams and evil everything, Father God. You are delivered him from generational curses, Father God, on both sides of his family, on his both sides of his family bloodline on his mom and dad's side of the family in Jesus Christ's name you are delivering him from any uh, mental issues of torture and affliction and trauma from dealing with all the gain stalking stuff and the witchcraft connected to it Father God and all the harassment and the disrespect that he gets Father God the harass uh, the isolation and cruelties that he get from bully perps and stuff Father God and witches and stuff and people trying to control him too much or whatever and trip him up in his life I thank you for delivering him from those type of evil relationships Father God and those evil encounters and social interactions and and evil stockings, hate stockings, and the spirit of hatred darts, and evil covenants, and evil altars, and evil decrees, and declarations, and all types of witchcraft, sorcery, divination, Satanism, Father God, Freemasonry, Father God, Voodoo, Voodoo, Father God, Kumi, Mommy, uh, all of it, Father God, all types of witchcraft, Wiccan, whatever, Father, I thank you for whatever it is, Father, you are delivering him from all types of witchcraft, by the blood of Jesus Christ, by your power and your anointing, thank you for delivering Rigo, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, by the blood of Jesus Christ, by your power and your anointing, Father God, and the power of the Holy Spirit too, in Jesus Christ's name, and I pray, Father God, that you will strip and break off of Every area of Rigo's life, all witchcraft, all sorcery, divination, evil altars, evil incantations, evil uh, rituals, satanic rituals, evil things, objects that was used against me, used against Rigo, evil objects that was used against Rigo, Father God, evil written curses, verbal curses, Father God, all of it, Father God, and evil potions or whatever, evil triangles and circles and squares and all elements, Father God, of witchcraft and earth, Father God, and evil constellations that you would just break all of those satanic coven witchcrafts, coven witchcraft off of Rigo's life, Father God, with your power and your anointing and with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I sent it back. I sent it to the cross of Jesus Christ, Father God, and that it will be adjudicated and end there in the cross of Jesus Christ, Father God. And it will be adjudicated by the blood of Jesus Christ. All witchcraft, sorcery, divination, all types of witchcraft coming against Rigo's life in any given area of his life will be adjudicated by the blood of Jesus Christ and perish by the blood of Jesus Christ and be destroyed by the root. Every root of witchcraft will be destroyed off of Rigo's life in every area of his life by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the mighty powerful blood of Jesus Christ, by the fire of the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name and by your power and your anointing, Father God. I thank you for your supernatural intervention and Rigo's life, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Now I'm going to do Psalm uh, 121 over Rigo, over you, Rigo, and I'm going to not read it, but I'm going to pray it over you, and it's going to still be from the King James Version Bible. So, um, Father, I just... Um, Thank you that 
Rigo will lift up his eyes.